Here in Northeast Wisconsin, many people have been closely following the health care debate. Fox 11's Robert Kornacek has more now from both sides. And I will not let up. As President Obama addressed the joint session of Congress Wednesday night, a handful of Brown County Democrats gathered to watch. This was a regular meeting for the party leaders, but they did not mind taking a break to tune in to the president. I thought he did a great job. Um, he, he made the case again that reform is needed, which most Americans know. Party Chairman Tom Sieber supports the health care reforms proposed by the president. He says he hopes the president's speech dispels some myths about the public insurance option. Sieber also says he hopes the speech will give the health reform movement a boost. I'm hoping it changes the public sentiment. I, I mean, I think most people already know that we need health care reform. I think he's just highlighting the points and the reasons why everybody was in favor of that in the first place. Meanwhile, a few miles away, Green Bay resident Dennis Felt also had his eyes on the president. I certainly am impressed with the way the president presents his case. He is really, I, I really want to believe him. Felt says he does support some reforms to the health care industry, especially when it comes to covering people with pre-existing conditions. But he says he does not support a government-run insurance option. The solution should be to have more competition among private insurance companies. And in fact, the way you do that is allow insurance companies to cross over the uh, state to state uh, and allow them to compete in all states. That is comp that's real competition. Felt says the most important reform needed in his opinion is in the area of medical malpractice lawsuits. He says that would help bring down the costs of health care. The president did mention that issue tonight in his speech, saying he'd like to put together a bipartisan group to study it.